from Cowgirls versus the Cherry Bombs. And I'm Greta Ground and Pound, and I'm excited for a night of hard hits and good times. Yeah, the, cher the uh, Cherry Bombs are coming in. They would love to get a championship again this season. Undefeated Rhinestone Cowgirls, two championships under their belts the last two years. It's going to be a hard game. Certainly. And both teams are undefeated tonight, but only one gets to leave that way. Yep. Stay tuned. And bringing out the cherry bombs, we have Captain Annie Smokley, Co-Captain Donna Destruction, Cater Die, Maya Mayhem, Rocky Casbah, Ninja Please, Sacrilicious, Truck Stop Trixie, Ethel Murder, Lone Scar, Hired Guns, Demolition Dolly, and Mila Jukovic. Bench Manager Allison Chains. Coming out onto the track tonight, the Rhinestone Cowgirls, four-time Calvello Cup champions. We've got Alimony. Managing tonight on injured reserve is Ali Bamazon, Cold War, Diablo, Dildozer, Dusty Double Wide. Category five, co-captain Loretta Sin, Nikki Tiki Time Bomb, Pierce, Captain D. Toxin. Hired Gun Scrappy. Sabotage. Bentley Screws. First jam of the Cherry Bombs versus the Rhinestone Cowgirls here on Texas Roller Derby tonight. If you've never watched Roller Derby, you got to watch out for the skater with the star on her helmet. That is your jammer, and she is the point scorer. So basically, you just saw the jammer for the Rhinestone Cowgirls, Nikki Tiki Time Bomb, break out of the pack first. She is your lead jammer, and she has the advantage of being able to call off the jam by putting her hands on her hips. Right now, the Cherry Bombs jammer, Ninja Please, is being stuck in the in the pack, although she just got out front. Nikki Tiki Time Bomb has raced her way past the other blockers, the opposing team, to score points. And Nikki's going to continue to try to put points on the board. She's letting Ninja Please get around front there and frustrates her, calls off the jam. Four points for the Rhinestone Cowgirls, zero points for the Cherry Bombs. Mila Jukovic jamming for the Cherry Bombs. Category five, jamming for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. Category five is also a superstar of roller derby. She is like number three in the nation, speed skating. She's number two in our league for point scoring and points per jam. And once she gets out, you'll see why. There goes category, your lead jammer. Mila's still fighting her way through the back of the pack. Got <laughs> cut up in a little rough and tumble there. Yeah, everyone just got knocked down to the ground. Dusty, yeah, Dusty Double Wide waiting for category, trying to give her a big whip, help her through that. There's your whip. The Cherry Bombs are just going down all over the place. they got to stay on their feet, not just be a dead point laying on the ground there. What we're seeing here is a really spread out pack. Typically, I like to see these packs a lot tighter, closer. It yeah. makes point scoring a little more difficult for the Jammer. Does. It does. Zero points for the Cherry Bombs. Three points for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. Cater die jamming for the Cherry Bombs up against Nikki Tiki Time Bomb for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. We'll put a minute on the clock for this jam, see how many points they can score. Nikki's Nick out. Nikki is your lead jammer. She is so fiercely competitive. She has to be happy with how far ahead of Kate she is right now. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Kate Ooh. is still hanging out in the back of the pack, taking some mean hits from Dildozer. Yeah, she totally is. Those rhinestones are doing their famous waterfall. Ooh, waterfall corral. Somebody just got the crap knocked out of him. Literally, I think oh, we just saw a mouth guard fall out. Rocky Casbah took a good hit on uh, Nikki Tiki Time Bomb, but Nikki Tiki is up fast. Yeah, I have never seen so many people fall so much. I think they're just hitting the crap out of each other tonight. 
Nikki calls it off. Late hit from Rocky Kasbah. <laughs> Two points for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. Zero points for the Cherry Bombs. We have a double minor uh -huh. penalty on the Rhinestone Cowgirls. Ooh. We have pushing on Nikki Tiki Time Bomb and Category 5, which resulted in points for them. Okay, so we have two ready? minor penalties on the Rhinestone Cowgirls. Category 5 and Nikki Tiki Time Bomb, both minors for pushing. Pillow fight! Ghetto Star Galactica, <laughs> our penalty mistress, has spun a pillow fight. This will be for two points. All right, Category 5 uh, and Nikki Tiki Time Bomb both had minor penalties, but Category 5 is doing a pillow fight to fight for two points for her team to keep. Cater Die yes. is up there for the Cherry Bombs. And oh, Category is just riding Kate like a cowgirl. That's, in fact, that's reverse cowgirl right there. No, it's actually regular cowgirl. <laughs> <laughs> but don't quote me on that. <laughs> Kate's just kind of giving in. It looks like she's trying to pull Category oh, she's got shirt boobs off. on her now. Yeah. Good Lord. This is why you come see this live, Texas Roller Derby. Absolutely. Visit txrd.com for details. <laughs> now she's worried about having her shirt open. Now we go to Spank Alley, which is your panel of judges. All right, so who won it? The Rhinestones won that one. Saved two points for their team. That's right. Truck stops on the line for the Cherry Bombs. Scrappy is jamming for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. Important to note, this is the first time that Truck Stop has gone up against the Rhinestone Cowgirls, being a former Rhinestone Cowgirl herself. Yeah, so Truck Stop is your lead jammer, and she's going to show those Rhinestones why they should be upset that they lost her. And you know what, the Rhinestones are going to show her no mercy. I'm fairly sure about that. So I'm sure we'll be talking to her at some point during the interviews this evening. I have Scrappy's no also out, too, but Truck Stop is coming around at a point scoring position. This is a fast-moving pack. I'd like to see the Cherry Bombs get in front of the Rhinestone Cowgirls and slow them down yes. to make things a little easier. Yeah, they're not making it any easier. Oh, oh, huge hit on Truck Stop Trixie by Category 5. Truck Stop calls it off. One point for the Cherry Bombs, zero points for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. Cold War for the Rhinestone Cowgirls, jamming against Rocky Casbah for the Cherry Bombs. Rocky's taking an early lead, working her way through the Rhinestone Cowgirls. Cold, World's Cold War is running through some trouble there in the back of the pack. Yeah, Rocky breaks out front. She is your lead jammer. Cold War mired in the back there. She fell down a little bit, but uh, we'll see if she can make up some time. Cherry Bombs need those points, so they've only got one point right now in four or five jams. Rhinestones have got nine and didn't even lose those two points for that penalty either. Exactly. So, yeah. And what you're seeing here is the Rhinestone Cowgirls are moving to the front of the pack because they're trying to outrun Rocky Casbah. They're trying to avoid being points. Yeah, I doubt that um, they're going to outrun her. She is so stinking fast. But Cold War has dropped back, and she's now jamming, or she's now blocking for the Rhinestones, which is what she should do when she's a jammer that can't get through the pack. Rocky is pulling herself back, asking her team to help her. She's gone past a couple of those Rhinestones. Ooh, huge hit by Pierce on Rocky. Still can't knock her down, though. Very nice. Now, time runs out on that jam. Wow, that was an intense jam. Four points for the Cherry Bombs. Zero points for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. Nikki Tiki Time Bomb jamming for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. Lone Scar is up for the Cherry Bombs. We haven't seen Lone Scar yet this night, but we've got Nikki out there a couple of times. We know she's good. Lone Scar's getting blocked by Dusty Double Wide, who is impossible to get past. She is the best blocker in the league and in this uh, game for sure. Sacrilicious Ooh. is up front holding back Nikki Tiki Time Bomb. Yeah, no love lost there. Sack's got to let her pass, though, or else she'd get an illegal engagement. So Nikki Tiki Time Bomb is your lead jammer. Now Lone that illegal engagement is blocking 20 free feet away from the pack. Blocking yep. 20 feet away from the pack. Yep, Lone Scar has finally gotten out. Nikki Tiki Time Bomb is going to score a little bit, though, before she calls it off. She did get knocked down, though, so she better turn around and see Lone Scar. And Nikki, Nikki Tiki Time Bomb calls it off. Yep. Zero points for the Cherry Bombs, one point for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. Scrappy is jamming for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. Cater Die is up for the Cherry Bombs. 
Lots of hard hitting in the pack already. There has been all night long. Yeah. Cater's mired behind the rhinestone. Scrappy, oh, almost gets past those cherry bombs, but Rocky's like, one more time, I'm gonna get you before you can go. Scrappy jumps right back up again. And Kate's out too. So whomever is the jammer in the front gets to be the lead jammer. Right now it's Cater Die for the uh, cherry bombs. Scrappy cannot be the cherry or the rhinestones uh, lead jammer because she stepped into the middle of the track there. So Cater Die's got the advantage at this point. And she can get a, a point past somebody. Up, oh, Kate calls it off. One point for the cherry bombs, zero points for the rhinestone cowgirls. Rocky Casbah jamming for the Cherry Bombs up against Sabotage and Alternate skating for the Rhinestone Cowgirls right now. I'll tell you, those new girls coming in are freaking amazing. They're amazing. They're being put through rigorous training. Exactly. And just, it's really showing. Yeah, absolutely. Rocky's showing us why she's the best in the league right now, knocking Rhinestone blockers back, forth, and sideways. Category 5 is probably going to get called for a legal engagement for that. She's but got to be. That was way far out yeah. in front of the pack. It was quite beautiful and fun, though, to watch. So <laughs> Sometimes it's worth it to, yeah. to take the penalty. Sometimes absolutely. it's worth it. And with Rocky Casbah, yeah. it's worth it to cheat just so she doesn't get around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this game last year, I think the Rhinestones had like six major penalties. So they've been playing, playing pretty clean by this standards of last year so we'll see how right. that continues to go as the game wears on so what you're seeing in the front is category five and diablo running away yep. trying not to let rocky casbah get their points they did not cherry bombs two points zero points for the rhinestone cowgirls hi i'm cheapskate and i'm your infield correspondent i'm here with rocky casbah how's it going oh my god you look beautiful so do you so i noticed you're wearing makeup what is that about somebody put it on me <laughs> who would that be what? Who would that be? Oh, and the, the wonderful Allison. That's very nice. She's your mom. Uh, she, 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 sure. <laughs> Do you need some water? Uh, got some. I just need a break. How's it going? Um, good. Your eyes are amazing. Your eyes are too. Uh, how does that glitter affect your playing? It doesn't at all. It stays on. I actually have to scrub it off at the end of the day, so it stays on. Well done. Also, if you were to channel any animal right now, who would it be? Or what kind of animal would it be? It would be a fierce bear, so I could just eat them. Excellent, eating, well done. Thanks, Loretta. Beautiful rugs complement your home decor, but they curl, bunch, and slip, and can cause you to trip. Not anymore. Introducing Ruggies, the amazing reusable rug rippers that keep rugs and mats in place to prevent unsightly curled corners, bunches, slips, and trips. Place Ruggies under the corners or around any size rug, lay on the floor, and instantly the slipping and sliding stop because Ruggies grip so rugs don't slip. The rug on this hardwood floor slips and slides all over, but with Ruggies, that rug sits tight. Rugs on tiles slide and bunch, but with Ruggies, they stay right where they belong. Ruggies won't ever lose their tacky grip, and they clean up to be used over and over again. And now for a limited time, this set of eight Ruggies, enough for two full-size rugs, is yours for just $10. But wait, order now and we'll double the offer and send a second eight-piece set of Ruggies free. Just pay separate processing and handling. Here's how to order. To order for $10 plus processing and handling, call 1-800-209-8876 or order at buyruggies.com. When it's warm, you'd love to open every door and let fresh air into your home. The trouble is, you'd end up letting lots of bugs into your home as well. Now there's Magic Mesh, the new type of screen door that opens easily and then magically closes itself behind you. The secret isn't really magic, it's magnets, 18 magnets to be exact. When you separate them, they automatically snap back together. That makes it great for pets too, because instead of scratching and whining, they can come and go as they please. So let the fresh air in and keep those annoying bugs out with Magic Mesh, a $40 value, yours for just $19.95. But wait, call right now and we'll double the offer. Just pay separate processing and handling. You get two Magic Mesh curtains for just $19.95. Don't delay, call and order yours today. To order Magic Mesh for $19.95 plus processing and handling, call 1-800-253-2319 or log on to buymagicmesh.com. Hey, it's 2 a.m. Is everything okay with your cable? We need sleep. Here's our bundle of joy. Whoa. Hey, does Grande still have those get-it-all bundles? Over 175 channels. <laughs> Stay focused. HD. No laughter. Multi-room TiVo. Any sudden movement. He will cry. And internet speeds up to 110 megabits per second. Never look him in the eye. <laughs> He preys on weakness. Thanks for doing this. We're with you. Uh, when we say we're here for you,
We mean it. Check out our Get It All bundles, only from Grande. We've got Nikki Tiki Time Bomb for the Rhinestone Cowgirls up against Cater Die wearing the jam cam for the Cherry Bombs. Ooh, Kate getting thrown around quite a bit. Dusty Devil White is a mean blocker. She likes to hang around in back and just destroy the jammer. Yeah, she doesn't even like look behind her. She literally just sticks her booty out and just knocks backwards. And it's like, I'm gonna hit somebody, even if it's my own teammate, I don't care. Yes. No, she's actually smarter than that. She is looking all over the place. She's an athlete per nun, that, that Dusty Double Wide. She is, and she's a several time nominee for the JLo Booty Award. Yes, she is. <laughs> well, Nikki Tiki Time Bomb is out there jamming. She can score some points, but she is not your lead jammer, so she cannot call it off. Kate, if she can get out, she can call it off. Oh, Kate has not even gotten out yet. Nikki Tiki Time Bomb made one full round. Rocky Caswell's like, <laughs> screw you. I'm going to knock you to the ground, even though it's illegal. We may see another penalty on Rocky Caswell for that. We'll have to talk to her about that at yeah, halftime. Maybe. Mm. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. <laughs> Sometimes refs are blind. Well, Nikki's just kind of strolling around. Looks like the Cherry Bombs aren't even doing anything. Zero points for the Cherry Bombs. Five points for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. That's a full jam. We have penalties on both teams. We have a minor penalty on the Cherry Bombs, illegal engagement 20 feet at the front of the pack on Rocky Casbah. We have a major on Nikki Tiki Time Bomb for advancement through the pack. And we have an illegal engagement inside blocking out on Dusty Double Wide, also a major. Judge's choice, what do you guys want? Raise your hand if you want a long jump. Oh, looks like a long jump one. Okay, long jump for Rocky. For the long jump, you're going to see the skaters starting back at the jam line. They're going to take one lap around the track, and then they're going to jump at the pack line. Now, the point is to go as far as you can. That's going to be measured by the first part of the body that touches the ground. Woo! It's going to break an ankle doing it that way. I know, seriously. It's important that you are not allowed to scratch. <laughs> but. No crossing that line before you jump. Nikki Tiki Time Bomb is going to do the long jump for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. She is notoriously good at this. Yes, she is. I believe she may hold the record. She busted Sack's record this year. Ooh, nice. And it goes to the Rhinestones. They take a point away from the Cherry Bombs. So we're seeing a reskate of the last jam because of the major penalties on the Rhinestone Cowgirls. Category 5 is jamming for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. Cater Die is jamming for the Cherry Bombs. Looks like Category is doing some defensive jamming there. She's not trying to outrace Kate. She just doesn't want Kate to get through. Yeah, absolutely. You know, at this point, Category's only got two blockers that she can rely on, so she knows that she has got to get Kate from doing anything. Uh, the, uh, the Cherry Bombs know that they've got to hold Category 5 back into the pack itself. Kate, as soon as she passes one rhinestone, she's going to get three points because the two girls, the Dusty Double Wide and Nikki Tiki Time Bomb, are sitting in the penalty box right now. Donna Destruction is holding out her hand to give Kate a whip so she can catch up and score some of those points. Yeah, Rocky and Lone Scar are trying to keep alimony back so that Kate can score that point against her and get those three points. And she, she does. It. Kate calls it off. Three points for the Ooh. Cherry Bombs, zero points for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. That was stressful. Scrappy, hired gun, skating for the Rhinestone Cowgirls, up against Truck Stop Trixie, skating for the Cherry Bombs. If you're just turning in, oh. Truck Stop used to be a Rhinestone for many, many years. This is her first game skating against her former team, and they are just not giving her a break. No mercy <laughs> whatsoever. None at all. You can see the entire wall of Rhinestones holding her back. Neither of the jammers have gotten through. Wall of Cherry Bombs. Oh. All, looked like they were acting like they were going to let Scrappy go in the front there, but they're still going to knock her down, even way out 20 feet. Look at Sacrilicious. She's Sacrilicious like Sacrilicious don't care. No, she don't care. No, she's like also oh, they're getting closer. That the the team is the pack is closer. I can throw Sac an elbow. <laughs> Sacrilicious also comes from an old school breed of roller derby girl who's yeah. really willing to throw down and fight at any moment. Absolutely. Scrappy was in point scoring position. She's getting through. Truck Stop's never even gotten through the pack at this point, so if she, if Scrappy can pass Truck Stop, she'll truck get five out. points. Yeah, Truck Stop and is out. And she's the lead jammer, calling it off. Zero points for the Cherry Bombs, one point for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. Oh my God. All right, we've got penalties on both teams. We have majors on both teams. We'll start with the Cherry Bombs. 
Uh, we have illegal engagement 20 feet at the front of the pack on Ninja as well as Sacrilicious. We have a major on the Rhinestone Cowgirls, Scrappy for advancement on our first pass through the pack. Got a reskate of that last jam. We had so many majors, I can barely remember them. Category 5's dropped back to jam for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. Up against, once again, Truck Stop Trixie for the Cherry Bombs. The Cherry Bombs are down two blockers right now. We had Sacrilicious and Ninja Please drop out. And then we've also got um, Scrappy is out for the Rhinestones. Category 5's gotten out. She is your lead jammer. Truck Stop's getting bashed around by her old team in the back there. I tell you what, if you only get a pack of three skaters, yeah. like the Rhinestone Cowgirls, dude, those are the three you want out there. You've got Dildozer, Dusty Double Wide, Nikki Tiki Time Bomb. Yeah, they are blockers par none at this point. Absolutely. So Category 5 is going to probably try to go for two. She's already gotten five points. She got the ghost points. She's passed Truck Stop Trixie. She's going to see if she can't get ten points. She would actually tie then with Mini Massacre from the Holy Rollers for the highest score in one jam ever. Well, we'll see. Yeah. Man, uh, yeah, Truck Stop Trixie and Maya have got to get their, yep, they did. They managed to outrun her. She scored eight, eight. points for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. Zero points for the Cherry Bombs. We got a minor penalty on the Rhinestone Cowgirls. Dusty double wide, illegal engagement, out blocking in against the Jammer. Are you ready? Judge's choice. What do you guys want? Two left duel. Two left duel. Who wants a two left duel? Raise your hand for a two left duel. All right, we're having a two left duel, Dusty. I'm sorry. Two left duel. We've got a two lap duel. Dusty Double White had a minor penalty in that last jam. So two lap duel. If you've never seen it, you must engage and you must get around first of two laps. Demolition Dolly, alternate for the uh, Cherry Bombs, got pushed down there. Welcome to TXRD, Dolly. Yeah, seriously. Dusty's like, eh, whatever. We've got, why can't we? Oh, Dust Demo's going to go ahead and just cut it, which basically means she scratches it. Yeah. <laughs> Dusty gets to keep that point for the Rhinestones. We've got Scrappy for the Rhinestone Cowgirls up against Rocky Casbah for the Cherry Bombs. Both they, skaters coming in together. Yep, to the a wall of everybody. Exactly. Oh, Scrappy just scooched her way right past all those Cherry Bombs. That looks like she advanced a little bit. Her referee is saying no go. She cannot be lead jammer. Yeah, so she definitely advanced. We'll see if she gets called again. That's what she got her last major for. You know, we just mentioned like four jams ago how clean of a game this was, and it went from clean to dirty in Fast. three jams. It's like penalty after penalty after penalty. Scrappy's liable to get called for a major on this. When you cut the track and then score a whole bunch of points, yeah. you only scored those points because you are a cheater. Exactly. So Rocky Casbah's dropping back. She's going to block Scrappy. Ooh, Scrappy's giving her a run for her money. She is Scrappy. That's what we call juking. Yes. Side to side. Totally. Rocky's just holding her off. And it's important to note that Rocky is allowed to block her even though she's 20 feet away from the pack because she is a jammer. Jammers can block each other anywhere. Yep. Five points for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. Zero points for the Cherry Bomb. All right. We've got two major penalties on the Rhinestone Cowgirls. One against Pierce for pushing, for ramming the opposing jammer, and one against Scrappy for advancement through the pack again. Got a reskate of the last jam. We had a major penalty once again on Scrappy. So Nikki Tiki Time Bomb has dropped back to jam for the Rhinestone Cowgirls up against Rocky Casbah for the Cherry Bombs. And Rocky is like, you know what? Screw this. I was kept from having any points. I was a point in the last jam. So I'm going to score some. Absolutely. Also, Pierce is sitting out this one. She also got a major penalty for pushing. Rocky is in point scoring position. Up, oh, got around Nikki, so that is three points right there. Dozer was working hard to keep Rocky Casbah back, but she could not do it. Rocky calls it off. Four points for the Cherry Bombs. Zero points for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. So 
Right. We've got Category 5 for the Rhinestone Cowgirls up against Ninja Please for the Cherry Bombs. There's a minute on the clock for these jams, and so it is fast and furious. And you know what? Th the, the game is getting really super dirty. There's multiple five or six majors at this point on the Rhinestones. Uh, the, a huge point spread right now, 15 points. We'll see what the Cherry Bombs end up doing at halftime if they can pull themselves together. Ninja Please is out, but she is not your lead jammer. Category 5 is being held back in the pack. She's been knocked down, jumped right back up. There's just Sack tries to hold Category back, but can't do it. Category calls it off. One point for the Cherry Bomb, zero points for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. All right, we have a major penalty on the Cherry Bombs this time. Ninja, please, for advancement out of the pack. Category five, jamming for the Rhinestone Cowgirls, and she's up against Truck Stop Trixie for the Cherry Bombs. The uh, Cherry Bombs are down one player. Ninja Please in the last jam once again did an advancement. These jammers are just deciding to cut through the inside of the track. It's much easier that way when you don't have to actually, you know, go past the blockers. There's a reason it's easier. Yeah. It's cheating. It's cheating. <laughs> That's why they get called penalties. That's on. right. We do have some rules in Texas Roller Derby. Just a few. <laughs> yeah, a couple. A couple here and there. Truck Stop and Cat, they're not getting out at they this point. They are tied up in that pack. Yeah, absolutely. And Category can really score some points. Uh, with just passing one of those players, she's going to get two points for that. So she's out. Demolition Dolly has to let her go. Category 5 is your lead jammer. Everyone's tired. It's almost halftime. I'm really interested to see what these interviews are going to say because uh, these are really competitive teams. And they're really good teams. They are. They're very serious about their game, about yep. their skills. Yep. Category's passed. A few people, she can't get past Sacrilicious. The Cherry Bombs are creating themselves a little pack right there. There are just skaters and all over the place. Time out. Stay tuned for interviews. We'll be right back with Rhinestone Cowgirls versus the Cherry Bombs here at Texas Roller Derby. Are you struggling every month to keep up with your credit card payments? Are you tired of credit card debt piling up? The good news is that there are simple and safe ways to pay down your debt. Through our programs, we can help our clients to consolidate their debt and significantly lower their interest rates and monthly payments. Call the number on your screen now and learn how a debt management program can help change your life. There are no hidden charges and no gimmicks. Just a simple program put together by nonprofit organizations that will work with you and your creditors to give you the fresh start you need. This program is not debt settlement or bankruptcy. Instead, it's a safe and responsible way to simply eliminate your credit card debt. It all starts with a free phone call. Give us a few minutes and learn how you can eliminate the burden of credit card debt today. We're available right now to provide you with a free personalized consultation with no obligation necessary. What are you waiting for? Call now. Call 800-398-0628. Kids go through phases. But Jeremy went through painkillers, bottles of vodka, and his mom's purse when he needed more. The story of addiction is all too familiar, but you can change it. Don't forget to tip him. I know, Mom. I know. If you or someone you know is in recovery from addiction, share your story with the partnership at drugfree.org, because your story can change someone else's. I'm so glad we could help. Thousands of people contact General Steel each month for a pre-engineered steel building. These are business owners who need retail, manufacturing, office, and storage facilities. They're church leaders who need sanctuaries or gymnasiums. And they're people just like you who need RV storage, riding arenas, or airplane hangars. They all want the same thing, the advantages of owning, to build quickly and save money. Quality, backed by our 50-year structural warranty. And they all want to work with a name they know, General Steel. Some callers have shocked the internet and realized that for a purchase this important, it just doesn't make sense to take a risk. Many internet-based companies are nothing more than a website. You really don't know who you're working with. <laughs> Call us today for the building you need and save as much as half the cost and time of conventional construction. Thank you for calling General Steel. How may we help you today? La Muerte here with Scrappy. Uh, hired gun skating for the Rhinestone Cowgirls this game. Scrappy, I have a theory. I have a theory that you actually just want to take a nap. 
You know, I'm really torn between taking a nap and uh, destroying all the rest of the cherry bombs. <laughs> I think I pissed Rocky off. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You're like at her skill level right now, and she gets a little upset when somebody's on her tail like that. She's a little bit obviously frustrated. It's kind of tickling me on the inside. <laughs> it should. The psychological game is half of it. We all know that. So. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm here with Kate or Die from the Cherry Bombs. Kate, normally you're one of the high scorers for the Cherry Bombs. But they're holding you back. They're, they're frustrating you tonight. You did get three points, but two of them were ghost points. Tell me, going into the second half, what's your mindset going to be for knocking the Rhinestone Cowgirls on their rear ends? Um, well, a little earlier, Holly Pino of the Putas del Fuego gave me a pointer. She said, dodge, dip, dive, and dodge. So I think I'm going to try that. What's up for the second half? Man, we're just going to keep pushing. Um, you know, Rocky and Kate, they're all great jammers, so 15 points is not enough because at any time, any of them can score 10 plus points in one jam. So we're just going to keep pushing and uh, hopefully uh, take home another win. Yeah. Rocky, Rocky, you're cheating. You keep getting illegal engagement. Tell me, is it worth it? Um, I don't think I'm cheating. The referees are making some, I believe, questionable calls. Maybe not. Maybe I'm cheating. I don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, no, I mean, like, I, I think there's a lot of pushing, grabbing, uh, a lot of legal shit going out there, and it's kind of just what the refs are seeing right now, and uh, probably just get dirtier as the game goes on. Unfortunately, that is the way it seems to go. It started off a really clean game, and then we've kind of progressed into this. Mm -hmm. So there's a big point spread right now. We're down a lot here. The Cherry Bombs are down. Tell me, is there a strategy going into the second half? Score more points. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you so much, Rocky. Yeah. Beautiful rugs complement your home decor, but they curl, bunch, and slip and can cause you to trip. Not anymore. Introducing Ruggies, the amazing reusable rug rippers that keep rugs and mats in place to prevent unsightly curled corners, bunches, slips, and trips. Place Ruggies under the corners or around any size rug, lay on the floor, and instantly the slipping and sliding stop because Ruggies grip so rugs don't slip. The rug on this hardwood floor slips and slides all over, but with Ruggies, that rug sits tight. Rugs on tiles slide and bunch, but with Ruggies, they stay right where they belong. Ruggies won't ever lose their tacky grip, and they clean up to be used over and over again. And now for a limited time, this set of eight Ruggies, enough for two full-size rugs, is yours for just $10. But wait, order now and we'll double the offer and send a second eight-piece set of Ruggies free. Just pay separate processing and handling. Here's how to order. To order for $10 plus processing and handling, call 1-800-209-8876 or order at buyruggies.com. The sun used to make our outdoor deck and patio space so hot and uncomfortable, we couldn't use it. But then we discovered the Sunsetter Retractable Awning. Our Sunsetter Retractable Awning opens and closes in just 60 seconds. It keeps our patio about 20 degrees cooler. It provides instant shade and instant protection from the sun's harmful rays. And our Sunsetter costs under $700. But now you can get your Sunsetter for as little as $499 when you call now to get this special $200 discount certificate and free awning idea kit. We love our Sunsetter Retractable Awning, and you're going to love yours too. Sunsetter awnings are assembled in America and guaranteed to last for years. So call now to get this free awning idea kit with DVD, plus your $200 Sunsetter discount certificate but this is a limited time offer call now call now for your free awning idea kit with dvd and 200 dollars discount certificate there's no obligation call 1-800-353-1129 you'd have to be a roller girl to get this close but if you've been waiting to see the texas roller derby live and in person kcwx has your hookup we're giving away free tickets to the next game yes totally free no catch txrd tickets just go to kcwx.com slash free TXRD. Fill out the form and we'll give you two tickets to the next bout. How can you resist? That's kcwx.com slash free TXRD while supplies last. Welcome back to the third quarter of Rhinestone Cowgirls versus Cherry Bombs Texas Roller Derby. If you're just tuning in and you've never seen Roller Derby before, what you got to do is watch that skater with the star on her helmet. For the Rhinestone Cowgirls, it's Nicky Tiki Time Bomb. For the Cherry Bombs, we've got Ninja Police. The way it's played is that whatever jammer breaks out of that pack first is the lead jammer. They have the strategic advantage of being able to call off the jam at any given point by putting their hands on their hips. And right now, Nikki Time Bomb is your lead jammer for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. 
Ninja Please is also broken out. And she's going to be able to put some points on that board there, too, if she can catch up to the back of the pack and score. Derby is a dynamic game. The blockers are playing offense and defense at the same time. Nikki Tiki calls it off. Two points for the Rhinestone Cowgirls, zero points for the Cherry Bombs. Rocky Casbah for the Cherry Bombs up against Scrappy for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. We talked to Scrappy at halftime, and she said that she is not actually trying to get ejected so she can take a nap, so she's going to continue to try to play this game. <laughs> but you know what? She is going to dog Rocky Caswell. That is her goal for this evening. Rocky has gotten herself out front, though, and she is your lead jammer for the Cherry Bombs. I had a really good conversation with Rocky over the halftime. She seems to be concerned that the refs aren't actually calling everything that they need to be which I think is certainly interesting since they're yeah. calling so much. I know, but you know what? Rocky's also had some fouls that she's sure probably been called on. Fact. Uh, yeah, Rocky calls it off. Two points for the Cherry Bombs, zero points for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. Nikki Tiki Time Bomb for the Rhinestone Cowgirls up against Mila Jukovic for the Cherry Bombs. Mila's another one of our up-and-coming rising stars from the hired gun pool. Yeah. In other games, I've seen her... Uh, skated a lot. In fact, she's skated every game this season, but Mila has not really jammed that much this game. So Nikki Tiki Time Bomb's out in front. Talked to her at halftime, and she said she's just going to keep skating as hard as she can. And she is showing us that she's doing that right now. Mila dropping back. She's not getting through the pack, so she's going to try to block Nikki Tiki Time Bomb. And Nikki had just too much speed for her there. Made yeah. it up to the front of the pack. She did. She bounced right up against Donna Destruction, your top pivot for the Cherry Bombs, and Annie Smokely, who's the top blocker for the Cherry Bombs. But they had to let her go or else get an illegal engagement. It didn't look like it was that far out to yeah, me. I think didn't. they were a little confused about the distance. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell out there sometimes. <laughs> it is hard to tell. I don't know how anybody tells anything. It's just chaos. It is outside. a lot of organized chaos. It really is. Nikki runs into the back of the Cherry Bombs, calls it off. Eight points for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. Zero points for the Cherry Bombs. Category five for the Rhinestone Cowgirls up against Cater Die for the Cherry Bombs. Both of these skaters have not scored a ton of points, even though they're the top teams, like top scorers, really. Yes, Cater Die and I spoke at halftime. We were a little concerned about her low point scoring. Uh, she had some excellent strategy that she shared with me that was. A lot of alliteration and very difficult to remember. Oh, but, but I bet it was be... not falling over fallen no. rhinestones. That's probably it not her strategy. It was dipping and diving and ducking. And nice. Oh, she can do it now. Caters yes. out front. She is your lead jammer. That did look like a dip and a dive. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like boxing. Well, uh, Holly Peno, the lovely Holly Peno gave her that advice. Oh, that's good. Holly would know. Holly's Holly a great blocker know. for the Putas del Fuego. Oh, Category 5 goes down hard. She has still not gotten out. Demolition Dolly is dogging. Another D word. Category five. <laughs> I do love some good alliteration. Uh, dip, dive, dodge. Oh, that's from dodgeball. That's where they're getting that yes, from. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, Cater die trying to get past somebody. She is slowly making her way. People just aren't paying attention to her. Nope. Time runs out on the clock. Zero points for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. Three points for the Cherry Bombs. Cold War for the Rhinestone Cowgirls up against Truck Stop Trixie for the Cherry Bombs. Truck Stop throwing an elbow right into Cold War's stomach, oh. into her ribs. Ooh, Truck Stop getting taken down into the middle there by Alimony. Cold War trying to get past a wall of Cherry Bombs. They've pushed her all the way to the back, back behind her own team. Ooh, Truck Stop's taking some hard hits tonight. Those Rhinestone Cowgirls, they're just a big team. And yeah, I don't mean really big are. in a negative way. I mean, they're just solid, yeah, they, tall, just Brute strength. Yes, win. they really are brute. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, be brutus. Wait, <laughs> brutal beauty. I don't know what brutiful. I'm trying to say. Yeah, the brutal, darling, brutal. I love that brutal beauty. Yeah, that's our juxtaposition. Yeah, totally. And yep. it's alliteration. Yep. I love it. I know. Cold Ward trying to get past some cherry bombs. She's got past all of her rhinestones. She's stuck out in the middle there. She doesn't want to get an illegal advancement. She's going to have to get right back behind those cherry bombs who are throwing themselves at her left, right, and sideways. And timeout in that jam. Two points for the rhinestone cowgirls. Zero points for the cherry bombs. Uh, we have 
two infractions on alimony, so we're elevating to a major. We have a high block against the opposing jammer and an illegal engagement out of bounds blocking in. Got a reskate of the last jam. Truck stop Trixie up against Cold War. Once again, we had Alimony go out for the Rhinestone Cowgirls on a double minor, which turned into a major. She was throwing way too many elbows, apparently. That's what we call multiple infractions. Multiple infractions. Or, as I like to say, big time cheater. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> you got to say it in a robot voice. I don't know if you caught that, but Truck stop Trixie got knocked to the inside and yeah. then hit Detoxin, yeah. the non skating captain. Yeah. I thought that was amazing. It was amazing. It was not necessarily intentional. No, it was definitely intentional. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was an angle. There was an angle happening there. It was beautiful. Yeah. Well, nobody's getting out of the pack right now. The jammers are being mashed all over the place. Oh, truck stops out. I spoke too soon. She is your lead jammer for the cherry bombs. The rhinestones are attempting to run away. Doing that runaway pussy means that truck stop has to skate three times as fast to try to catch up and score some points against them. Cold War was getting back there, blocking truck stop. Takes herself out. Two points for the Cherry Bombs, zero points for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. All right, we have a major penalty on the Rhinestone Cowgirls for another high block. This goes against Diablo. Rocky Casbah is jamming for the Cherry Bombs, and Category 5 is out for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. There was a major penalty in the last jam on Diablo, but since that was already a reskate, we've moved on to the next lineup, and the Rhinestone Cowgirls are skating down one blocker. Oh, beautiful, beautiful juke by Rocky Casbah. She shows us why she is the top point scorer in the entire league, but you know what? Category 5 is number two, and they are showing each other. Category 5 cannot call off the jam, so if Rocky can just keep going, she can score as many points as she wants to, and the Cherry Bombs desperately need it right now. They certainly do. Rocky may do the what we call hit it and quit it, get yeah. one and call it off. She did that. Two points for the Cherry Bombs, zero points for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. Lone Scar jamming for the Cherry Bombs, up against Scrappy for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. Little confusion off the line there, but both jammers are up and moving. Scrappy's out ahead. And she's got a big wall of friendlies up at the front, so she made it right through nice and easy. Oh, Scrappy. Scrappy do good. That kid is phenomenal. The level of talent we are bringing into this league blows my mind. I know, seriously, all the old, ooh, Lone Scar's getting bashed all over the place. She's just swimming that rail. She needs to get focused and look forward again. Scrappy. Sacrilicious having to yes. yield high per our special rules of engagement. And so, you know what, Lone Scar is finally right behind Scrappy, but she is... Uh, well, this is Scrappy's yeah, third so time through. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, she's not going to do any good there at this point. Scrappy calls off the jam. Six points for the Rhinestone Cowgirls, zero points for the Cherry Zero bombs. points. And Rocky Casbah for the Cherry Bombs. Up against the Nikki Time Bomb for the Rhinestones. I haven't seen this pair up much. These two are like ferocious rivals. You can look at them juking back and forth. Ooh, Rocky. Oh, oh. oh. Takes Nikki down. Those are some hard hits right there. They're Definitely. falling on top of each other. And what we're seeing here is a reskate of the last jam. Diablo received a major penalty. Yeah, that's her second major penalty in like yeah. three jams. So she's better got to watch out. A couple of these Rhinestones have two major penalties. Scrappy, Diablo. Um, yeah, they're going to, at risk of ejection, Rocky Casbah is out, and she is your lead jammer for the Cherry Bombs. Right, and you touched on ejection. Once you hit three major penalties, you're out of this game. Yep, absolutely. Dusty Double-Eyed standing up at the bench, screaming at the Rhinestones to pick up the pace, do that runaway pussy, so Rocky can't score any points, but Rocky is about to pass Nikki Tiki Time Bomb. If she does that, she gets a point for Diablo also. And Rocky is going to... Call off. Well, she's not even going to bother calling it off. Time's going to run out. Two points for the Cherry Bomb. Zero points for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. If you could get rid of anybody's butt on the other team, whose butt would you just get rid of? Donna and Ashton. Why? Because it's destructive. All right, good game. Chiefs Gate again here with Donna Destruction. Uh, Someone just declared your butt hard. How do you feel about that? Like they hit it and it hurt them really hard? Yes. 
<laughs> um, I do a lot of squats, so that kind of helps. Well done. Um, also, if you were going to pick a song that you would associate with this ge game, what song would you choose? Uh, I think there's a song called Bodies Hit the Floor, and uh, that's kind of what it feels like right now. Bodies are hitting the floor. <laughs> Girl, and what is happening? I don't know. It's crazy out there. Uh, we knew it was going to be a hard game, though, so it's it's not a surprise to us that it's this hard. Who would win? Um, Iron Man versus Category 5. Oh, man, Category 5. She's got superpowers, man, and Iron Iron Man is just a guy in a suit that he built. We can, like, rip him apart and, like, kick him in. Gotcha. So she also has you ladies to help you out on your t on our team? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. We'll totally help her rip that suit off that guy. Ooh, that sounds... That sounds kinky. <laughs> Do you have money on this game? Absolutely not. I disagree. Thank you. Tired of not catching fish? Introducing the incredible Mighty Bite fishing system. Mighty Bite is the world's only five cents fishing lure. It acts like a DNA trigger to predatory fish. Mighty Bite hand five. Oh, yeah. Mighty Bite's revolutionary bite mark, scent stick, swimming fins, and custom weighting and rattle system give it the erratic action of an injured bait fish. It's a fact. Fish are attracted to light. Now get the bite at night with our new UFO Glow Kit. Land trophy fish of all species. The Mighty Bite fishing system with over 100 pieces is yours for only $19.95. But wait, we'll even send you our Fishing Secrets Easy Guide and new one-hour DVD free. Call right now and we'll also send you our incredible UFO Glow Kit. That's three free gifts for you. And as a bonus, we'll include our new custom Big Fish Trophy Kit. Order now. To order Mighty Bite, call 1-800-742-0634. That's 1-800-742-0634. Or order online at buymightybite.com. Hi, I'm Joan London. And if you're worried about your parent or a loved one living alone like I was, and you want reliable senior care information, then call A Place for Mom, the nation's largest senior living referral service. You'll get free information on assisted living, Alzheimer's care, nursing homes, even important financial information. They had obviously researched every place, not just given me names. Really? They found me a place for what she could afford and it was magnificent. We're now very confident that she's safe and they just helped every step of the way and I can't thank them enough. If you're worried about your parent or a loved one living alone like I was, call a place for mom. This is a free service and you can trust them to help you. If you're struggling to find reliable senior living information for your mom or dad, then call or go online to get the free help you need during this turbulent time. Call now, 800-763-9193, 800-763-9193. I'm Jim Adler, the Texas Hammer. Big trucks can cause big injuries, and it's not hard to see why. They're as big as a barn. If you've been hurt by a big truck, take them down to size and call me. Attorney Jim Adler makes big trucking companies pay you what's right. Get Jim Adler the hammer and nail them for everything you deserve. Don't take a tiny check from the insurance company. Call me first. Call 531-0000. That's 531-0000. Welcome back to the fourth quarter of the Cherry Bombs versus the Rhinestone Cowgirls here at Texas Roller Derby. If you've never watched Roller Derby before, watch the skaters with the stars on their helmet. Those are called the Jammers, and they are the point scorers. Scrappy for the Rhinestone Cowgirls just got out front. She is your lead jammer. She's got the strategic advantage of being able to call off the jam at any point by putting her hands on her hips. And you're going to watch her loop her way back around to the back of the pack here. And every opposing jammer, or, excuse me, every opposing player that she passes, she gets a point for. So right now, because uh, Ninja, please, for the Cherry Bombs, never got out of the pack, she is actually considered a point. So Scrappy has gotten a point for the other team's jammer. And she's just going to keep going. Ninja, please, finally out of the pack. They've got a minute to score. And uh, Scrappy is making the maximum amount of points doing this. So it's a great night out here tonight. The stands are packed. It's a kind of a blowout. Not really a blowout out of a game, but it's going to be really hard for those uh, cherry bombs to pick it up. Yeah, they've got one quarter left. Yeah, five points for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. Zero points for the cherry bombs. All right, we have a minor penalty on the Rhinestone Cowgirls against Pierce for a high block to the penalty wheel. Pillow fight!
ladies and gentlemen, we have a pillow fight. Pierce is going up against Truck Stop Trixie for oh. the Cherry Bombs. Truck Stop is tiny, but a notoriously excellent pillow fighter. Yeah. Pierce had that minor, minor penalty for a high block once again. She insisted that she get this pillow fight instead of doing an arm wrestling. I've never seen that really happen too much, but, you know, Ghetto's a new penalty mistress, and she's getting a little bit overblown right. with the, with the other girls. She's really getting what she asked yeah, for. Yeah, absolutely. You want a pillow fight, you got a pillow oh fight. Oh, my God. Pierce is just really playing with the domination here. That's really all the pillow fight is about. And you know what? The audience gets to decide who they think won this pillow fight, and then Spank Alley judges will be the final arbiter. It's almost unanimous in the judges' booth. There's one Rhinestone fan. Everybody else says Cherry Bob! And Rocky Casbah for the Cherry Bombs, jamming against Category 5 for Rhinestone Cowgirls. Rocky looks fierce and determined, but Category 5 just slips past everyone and is your lead jammer. Rocky is like, I want to score points. But those rhinestones are big and mean, and Dusty's smashing her, Diablo's smashing her, Dildos are smashing her. They put all their smashy blockers out there. Yes, yes. It's important to have a good, strong bench full of smashy blockers. Yeah, seriously. Oh, now Rocky's just like, screw this. I'm not going to score points. I'm just going to grab Category 5. But Category got through. It's definitely a strategy that could work, though. It's true. It's true. Oh, uh, nice. Rocky just literally gave it her all, threw herself at category, but I think she may have. Nope, she didn't hurt herself. Dr. Evil, our medic, jumped on the track, but it was a little too soon. Rocky just needed a little nap to recover. Out of time, five points for the Rhinestone Cowgirls, zero points for the Cherry Bombs. All right, we have a major penalty on Dusty Double Wide for an illegal engagement of the jammer, which kept her in the pack. Got a reskate of the last jam with Rocky Casbah up against Category 5. Dusty Double Wide pulled out for an illegal engagement that kept the jammer in the pack. Yes. So this is the second major for Dusty. If she gets a third one, she's going to be ejected. But Dust, or Rocky is going to take advantage of this and try to get past those rhinestones in the front. This is and Rocky is out. She is your lead jammer. Yeah, it's a lot easier to get out of the pack when Dusty Double Wide isn't a part of it. Yeah, Dusty is the top blocker in the entire league, not only just for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. So that is certainly her fiercest rival in the pack itself. Rhinestones are pulling their runaway pussy, trying to keep uh, Rocky from being able to pass them. Rocky's scored at least two points. Category five is a little bit slow. Rocky's coming up against her. Screaming Rocky's at the refs. She's also got other things she's doing. She's not just skating. No, she's talking no. to people. Rocky can eat pizza and jam at the same I've time. I've seen her do it. I've score seen it points, done. score four points eating a piece of pizza. Not in a game, in a scrimmage, but it was quite funny. And Rocky has gotten all the way through twice. Seven points for the Cherry Bomb, zero points for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. Mila Djukovic for the Cherry Bombs up against Scrappy for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. Both of these are alternates. Both of them have skated every game this season. So they are actually getting more skate time than the veterans. That is a fact. That's one of the benefits of being a hired gun is you can skate any game with any yep, team. Absolutely. Scrappy is out. She is your lead jammer for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. Our draft is next weekend, so we'll see if either of these two get picked up by a team. We don't have many spots open at the midseason draft, but after the after this season's over, we'll have more spots. Oh my gosh, Scrappy has just made it past everybody for a full entire round. Mila's coming up around the back. Scrappy is still your lead jammer, so she's probably gonna call it off, and she does. Four points for the Rhinestone Cowgirls, zero points for the Cherry Bombs. We've got Nikki Tiki Time Bomb for the Rhinestone Cowgirls up against Rocky Casbah for the Cherry Bombs. They are really utilizing their fastest skaters, both yeah. teams. Might as well. It's the end of the game. They're not going to get any more tired than they already are, really. No doubt. Rocky's facing literally a wall 
of rhinestones. Dildos are just knocked like four people over with her hips. I that, called her a sneaky gremlin a couple of years ago, and she really is. She truly is. She's silent but deadly. Yeah, absolutely. She's not one of the skaters that comes to mind first when you're thinking about big blockers. No. But she, her stats are probably off the charts in comparison to everybody else's. Yeah, She's absolutely. She's amazing. Rocky Casbah is your lead jammer. Nikki Tiki Time Bomb's dogging her. Nikki cannot be the lead jammer. Rocky calls it off. Zero points for either team. Rocky Casbah for the Cherry Bombs up against, once again, Cold War for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. Last jam of the evening, possibly. Unless somebody calls it off really quick. Or unless some sort of crazy major penalty happens yeah. and oh. we have to Yep, Rocky Casbah out front is your lead jammer for the Cherry Bombs. Cold War not getting past the pack at this point. Competitive to the very last second. I know, seriously. She certainly is. Seriously. As are the whole team. The whole team of the Cherry Bombs definitely been fighting. Yes. It's just been a one-sided bout tonight, unfortunately. Yeah. It's amazing how a point spread of 30 points doesn't take away from the excitement no, of the game. No, it does not. Not at all. Oh, Rocky's back. Keeps herself from falling down. She's looking exhausted. But you know what? It's done. Game is over. Let's see if there were any penalties called on that, any major penalties. Mm -hmm. Three points for the Cherry Bombs, zero points for the Rhinestone Cowgirls. Game goes to the Rhinestone Cowgirls. Excellent night. Stay tuned for after the show interviews here on Texas Roller Derby. Wow. Uh, yeah, seriously, a 30-point game. I really thought the Cherry Bombs would score some more points. I was definitely expecting more of a nail-biter this evening. Yeah, we didn't get to see Rocky or Kate put points on the board like they normally do, where they're just multi-points, multi-points. Mm -hmm. Rhinestones played a psychological game, shut them out, blocked the crap out of them. Lamarcha here with Loretta Sin from the Rhinestone Cowgirls. Co-captain, uh, once again, another. Victorious. Yeah. It's fantastic. Feels great. We really pulled it out. We did what we said we were going to do. We stuffed them. It was great. <laughs> Absolutely did kind of stuff them. It was like, what, 30 points at the end there? It was 30 points at the end. We were only about 15 points at half, and we really came together and said, you know what, even though we are 15 points ahead, that is three good jams for Rocky. So we just have to keep our heads down, keep it together, don't let up, just kick their ass. I am here with Truck Stop Trixie from the Cherry Bombs. Now, it sounds a little weird for me to say that because I'm used to saying of the Rhinestone Cowgirls, this was your first bout against your former team. Did you feel like they really had it out for you out there? Yes, absolutely. Without a doubt, I was like their main target, I felt. Dusty, you proved your best blocker status tonight. I mean, just there's so many bodies to hit. <laughs> I want to hit all. It's like Pokemon. You got to catch them all. Yes. Got to hit them all. Yes. <laughs> exactly. You do. I was like commenting at one point. You weren't even looking behind you. You just like stick your butt out and block somebody and they fall to the ground. You're just like, oh. It's your brown eye. If your two eyes are looking up and you don't see the person, that means they're by your brown eye. So you just got to find them. How frustrating is it being that you skated the cleaner game, your team as a whole? Yeah. There were a lot of penalties called on the Rhinestone Cowgirls, yeah. and yet they ended up winning by substantial numbers. Yeah. Well, uh, they have a really good team. Uh, they play their best players over and over again, and they get tired. And when you get tired, things get desperate, and I think that that kind of contributed to a lot of their penalties. It's got to be hard coming from a championship team just a few short years ago to losing by almost 30 points. Especially after beating the Holy Rollers by so much. If this was, I'm, I'm shocked, I have to say. But we have two more games, and we're going to win them. Pancakes are a pain to flip. Not anymore. Introducing the all-new Flipjack Pancake Pan by...